Today we're talking all about how to get Minecraft shaders running on a Mac. The first thing we need to do is make sure we have Optifine installed. We can do that by going to our web browser and going to optifine.net. From here, hit downloads and then make sure that you download the version that you want to play. For most people, that will be the latest release. But if you're playing an older version, such as 1.18.2, you'll need to download that from here. For this video though, we're just going to download the current version. So we can go ahead and click on mirror and it will take us off to the download page where we can hit download once again and then Optifine will download. At this point too, we're going to go ahead and download our shaders pack. Now for this, I'm going to download Makeup Ultrafast. You can choose whichever version you want to use, but for this video, I'm just going to download Makeup Ultrafast. I'll go ahead and hit download and then let the download begin. While it's downloading, let me take a moment to tell you about our company, Simple Game Hosting. We set out to start Simple Game Hosting to provide the easiest and simplest solution to hosting a Minecraft server for you and your friends to play on. We have live chat support, a one-click mod pack installer, as well as DDoS protection and a full list of other features. If you're interested, in getting a server for you and your friends to play on, be sure to check out the altguides.com slash SGH today for 25% off your server. But for now, let's dive back into the video talking all about get shaders on a Mac. Now we should have both of our files downloaded from here. Let's go ahead and drag both of them to our desktop. Once they're on our desktop, we can go ahead and open Optifine with Java Launcher. Now, if you don't see Java Launcher here, you need to download Java. You can do that by going to the third link down in the description below. That will take you off to the Java installer page. Once that's done, right click and hit open with Java Launcher and it will bring up this window. Now, if it blocks you from this point, which it might do, you may need to hit allow, or if that still doesn't work, you can come into system preferences or settings and in the search bar type gatekeeper. It should bring up a window in the privacy and security settings and you should see a place where you can allow it to open Optifine from an unidentified developer. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and hit install and it should install Optifine on our computer. When it's done, you should see Optifine successfully installed, hit okay, and then we can quit out of Java, open our applications folder, and then we can open Minecraft. You can also do that by hitting command space on your keyboard and typing Minecraft. Once the Minecraft launcher is open, you should for most people see Optifine automatically selected right here. It would look like this. If you don't see that, head over to the installations tabs and make sure that you have the modded versions checked. If you don't have modded checked, it will not show up there. If you still don't see it at this point, hit new installation and then we can name this Optifine shaders. And then for version, we'll need to select release 120.1 Optifine. We'll go ahead and set our own custom resolution, 1920 by 1080. And then I'm going to hit more options, scroll down and change this to under JVM arguments to a four. That's going to allocate four gigs of RAM to Minecraft, which most modern Macs can handle. Hit create, and then we can go ahead and launch the Optifine shaders version. You may get this warning that says you're about to play a modified version of the game. Hit check, I understand, and then hit play. And now Minecraft should open. Once Minecraft is open, we can hit options. And then from here, we can hit video settings. Now here you should see the shaders option. This would mean that Optifine installed correctly. We can hit shaders and then hit shaders folder. Now this is going to bring up our shaders pack folder on our Mac. So for this, we can just take this zip file of makeup ultra fast and drag it directly into our shaders pack folder hit done and then head back to shaders and you should see makeup ultra fast. We can go ahead and select that and then we can hit done. From this point, hit done, hit done again, and now let's load into our world. So let's go ahead and jump into our simple game hosting server to test out how our shaders pack work. Now you'll see that in the top right corner, I'm getting like 25, 26 FPS while not moving. There are optimizations you can make. And in fact, if you're looking for the best Optifine settings video, you can check that out in the description below. In a lot of situations, Mac OS can have trouble running shaders packs. If you go into your video, video settings and your shaders settings, you can change the settings here to be able to make it perform a little bit better. But generally speaking, you're not going to have the highest FPS playing with shaders on a Mac. Just running through our area here, we're getting about 23, 24 FPS, which is technically playable, but it's not the best playing experience around. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up and be sure to also check out Simple Game Hosting at thealtguides.com slash SGH for 25% off your first month of Minecraft server hosting. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below and I will see you in the next video.